Okay, today I'm going to review the second Machine Age Work, Progress, and Prosperity in the Time of Brilliant Technologies by Eric Brynjolfsson and Andrew McAfee. So both the authors are from MIT. They both work in the Center for Digital Business. They've written a lot of books together. Um, Eric Brynjolfsson is the director and Andrew McAfee, I guess it's not McAfee, McAfee, I'm guessing that's right. He is the principal research scientist at the center. Um, before this book here, they wrote a book called, uh, what is it, Race Against the Machine. And then more recently, they came out with a book called Machine Platform Crowd. And besides those two books, they've each written their own books about technology uh, by themselves. But it's really, it's this book and Machine Platform Crowd that were really uh, big sellers and uh, are probably books that you've heard of before. So this book, it's very similar to Rise of the Robots that I just reviewed. It's a very, it's a general book about technology and where it's going and how it's going to impact the economy. But this book differs from the Rise of the Robots book in, in a few important ways. First of all, this book is much more about the why of technology and the change and the economy. It goes into a lot of detail about the underlying trends and where they're going. And it doesn't spend much time looking at specific industries or specific companies. It's very broad. It's very general. There's no chapter that's about a single industry or technology. And this is in contrast to Rise of the Robots, which is much more about the what of what's happening, where it goes through industries and everything. It looks at very specific instances of automation and technology changing uh, businesses and the economy. This book was a lot more about trying to weave together all the changes happening in technology, how that's gonna impact the economy, and then what we can do about it to take advantage of it and prepare ourselves for the challenges and the opportunities that might come from it. I thought this book was a lot more cohesive and together and and it for me it was very successful in weaving together all the ideas into a cohesive and concise view of the future and what's going to come. The book is roughly broken down into thirds. The first third is about the technological trends. The next third is about the economy and it goes into a lot of detail about of both inequality and how we can measure things and how the technology is going to change things. I thought it was a good coverage of the economy is what I'm trying to say. Other books are very surface level. This book, I think they really get down into some of the more interesting questions and ideas underlying the changes going on with technology and the economy. And then the last third of the book, it's the whole third of the book is about the recommendations and they have separate chapters for recommendations for what individual people can do, um, government policies they think should be incorporated, what the long-term recommendations are, and then there's an afterword um, after that that kind of closes out the book. But if you compare that to Rise of the Robots, this book has a lot more focus on what we can do about it and has a lot more recommendations, which I liked a lot more. I think these authors really put the work in to think hard about these concepts and and provide some useful takeaways and and conclusions in this book where other books kind of just describe what's happening. This book really goes a step further and they get deeper and then they tell you what you can do about it, what we can do about it, how to take advantage of things. And so I thought this book was a, a better book than Rise of the Robots. I've enjoyed reading it more. I would recommend it more highly than the other book. And I think it gives you a much better idea of the whole picture of digital technologies and how it's changing the economy and how it's going to change our lives in the future. So I would, I would definitely recommend this book. It is one year older than Rise of the Robots. I think it was written in 2014, I want to say. Let me check. 2014. So it's a few years old, but because they focus much more on principles and less on individual companies and individual sectors. I think this book holds up a lot better than other books will or have in the past because 
it's really getting down into the, the trends and what's driving the changes and how we can deal with these changes in the future that a lot of what you see going on now with driverless cars, that all fits together within the view given in this book, where other books might just kind of tell you what's going to happen in the next few years or what's immediately going to happen. It's very surface level. This book really goes further and gives you a much better picture of what's going to come in the future. And I like that about this book, and so that's why I would recommend this book over other books um, in the field, like uh, such as The Sentient Machine or Rise of the Robots or some of those types of books. Or even even ones I haven't reviewed yet. I don't want to mention those yet because don't, I don't have videos out yet. But I will in the future. But this book does stand out to me as far as if you're looking at technology and the economic impacts and the kind of the practical implications of what we'll do as individuals or government choices, uh, policies, things like that. This book... I thought it was one one of the best books uh, out right now for tackling those topics. AI isn't really covered in the interesting parts of AI. Um, this is much more like the practical ec economic stuff, but it's very good, very cohesive, and uh, a very easy book to read. Uh, you don't need a huge background in technology to understand what's happening in this book or what it talks about. So I definitely recommend it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. I've got some more book reviews coming out. I'm going to be reviewing th these authors. They wrote the second book, Machine Platform Crowd. That's uh, that white one right there under Behave. I'm going to review that one very soon and also a few more books on this general topic. But even without getting into those books, this book is very good. I definitely recommend it. So pick up a copy. There's not really... There's a few charts but they're very simple charts. They were just line graphs. So if you want to pick up the audio version, that's definitely a good option. Uh, that's how I read this book the first time, the second time I read the paper copy. So don't worry about missing anything if you get the audio version. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks.